everyone. Welcome to another Friday Night Craft Beer Review. I'm Brian. And I'm Kelly. And tonight we are going to review another beer from uh, north in the state of Ohio, uh, up in Cleveland. And the brewery is Market Garden, and the beer is Midnight Verloff. And uh, if you're not familiar with brewing terms, Verloff is whenever you get done mashing and you run your wort through back through itself, kind of recirculate it through itself to clear it out because there could be some grain debris and whatnot in the bottom of the uh, mash tun whenever you brew beer. So that is kind of what that's all about. So uh, Midnight Verloff is a coffee porter and it is six and a half percent alcohol by volume. And apparently it sort of ties the morning in with the night. Yeah, so this is coffee. like a, a breakfast beer? Um, <laughs> or I think it's beer? an idealism to go with either or. Yeah, yeah. So. Um, you know, we're going to have it on Friday night, so let's get into it. And it's a 6.5%. Probably looking for it to pour nice uh, and It was dark. talking about the coffee brew, like for the morning, and then the coffee porter taste for the evening, so. All right, so it is a nice jet black dark, as you would expect, uh, with a little bit of a uh, creamy head to it that's a little bit brownish. Uh, Let's get the nose on it here. Mm, yeah, I'm coming up, uh, definitely coming up with the coffee. Why would it put crystallized malts? Uh, crystal mal malts are like a caramel malt uh, that gives you kind of a little bit of a caramely or toffee or you know flavor to it, um, depending on what color. They don't say what color they use on there, so it's uh, it is a, uh, a crystal malt. Uh, so it's like it a would caramel malt. Enhance the flavor being crystallized. Uh, the crystal has to do with how long they roast the malt. In order for it to get its colors, they go all the way from like so 10 up to 120. So it is a color thing. It doesn't deal with. Yeah, I mean, it does. It does impart some sweetness well, into the malt, which also I gives you that. some. <laughs> yeah, which also gives you some unfermentable sugars, which can lend to a little bit of sweetness in the it beer. It smells sweet. But, cheers. It's very smooth. Mm, yep. Yep. Definitely a coffee notes. Mm. Yeah, I, I wonder sometimes. I think the cold brew of the coffee definitely makes it where it's more mild. They're not extracting a lot of bitterness out of the coffee beans with that cold brew. Have you done much cold brewing? Uh, I've done it once before and I also yeah. did some cold steeping of grains okay. in a porter but once before. Not with the coffee. But I, I haven't we haven't had cold brewed coffee as far as by itself. But that would be fun. I mean to see what you can come up with yourself. Yeah, I mean there's a lot of stuff. I mean they have nitrogen coffee, all kinds of stuff that they do. You know, that's all the rage now is cold brewed coffee. But uh, yeah, this this is definitely a. I would have this with banana nut bread. Yeah, it's a, it's a good porter, and I, I do like the coffee flavor in it. It's not overbearing. I know sometimes uh, when you get a coffee uh, porter or coffee stout, it can be pretty bitter on the coffee side. But I think the cold brewing definitely lend it to just giving it the beer some character. I think it would be a dessert beer. Yeah, definitely. I'm I mean, going it, through all these things in my Rolodex of yeah. favorite desserts, and I'm like, yeah, Ooh. yeah. Um, Custard. Yeah. Mm. What do we have that uh, peanut butter and jelly bread pudding or whatever it was? I'd be good with this. Oh, that would be <laughs> Definitely. So, Bonefish Grill used to have that. But yeah, uh, definitely uh, very nice. Uh, if you get up to Cleveland, check out the Market Brewery. They have a full line of beers on tap. And uh, get up there and check them out if you're in the area. Tell them Short Circuit of Brewer sent you. Till next time. It's Brian and Kelly. Hashtag us if you go. <laughs> yeah, right. Hashtag short trucker to brewers at Market Garden Brewery. Cheers. Cheers, everybody. We'll see you next week. <laughs>